Hey everyone, it's been a little while, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update video on the garden, the basement garden experiment. Um, I wouldn't say that it's been going great, but as you can see, you know, we've got some some decent growth. Um, none of the plants are dead, <laughs> so that's a plus. Um, it's been we had a really really rough winter this year. Um, we're on the the tail end of it right now. It's actually trying to snow, rain, something outside. It's about 30 something degrees. Um, we've had a few days that were about 50, 50 degrees or so. So we're, we're starting to show signs of spring. Uh, that's, that's actually affected the, the plants to be perfectly honest with you and this is how I know. Um, I planted these seeds a while back. These are jalapenos. Okay, about, I don't know, a week ago or so the sprouts, these three sprouts came up and they haven't really grown. They've just been sitting here like this for about a week now. <clears throat> when they sprouted we had a couple 50 degree days and then we went back down to like single digits again and got crazy cold and they've just been kind of sitting here. So I think part of the reason that that some of this stuff isn't growing as well as others is is due to the the temperatures here in the basement. Um, you know, it's not freezing in here, obviously, but when we have really cold days outside, you know, the, the basement temperatures drop down, and we're dealing with, like, jalapenos, which is a tropical plant, um, more warm weather climate plant, uh, you're, you're dealing with a plant that's struggling to, to deal with cooler temperatures. So, um, the coleus are doing really well, except for the original ones that I had. Um, they're still alive, but they're not doing too great, you can see. Um, starting to show some new growth again as it started to warm up I started to see new growth in there but I think ultimately what's going on with those is that the soil is not very good basically I just dug some dirt out of the ground outside and, and planted them so you know there, there's a difference between the soil and, and these two the soil and the green onions um, and then the rest of the plants and even some of those plants have different soil um, some of these have some real like mulch barkish type soil where then some others have you know some typical potting soil that you would find in regular house plants <clears throat> this is the stuff that I seems to be doing the best even though this plant isn't very big I just replanted it with some better soil because it had that mulchy stuff in there um, however like my tomato plants it had a mixture of the two different soils and that's these big ones here um, these are doing really well um, I pulled one out and put it in this in this pot here and they're basically you know they're creeping up on the lights right now what I'm hoping is is that my timing will be perfect when we start getting some good springtime weather outside that I can repot these in bigger pots build a cage to, to put into the pots or around the pots and then move them outside for the for the rest of the spring and summer and hopefully because of the size of these things that it won't take them very long to actually start producing some tomatoes that would be awesome just have to keep our dog away from them um, the poppy plant really started to take off real good and then kind of slowed down but it's not doing bad at all considering I thought this thing wasn't going to survive it's, it's actually doing really well um, what I'm noticing right now actually because I used to just have a center sprout okay what I'm noticing here is now I'm starting a, a second and a third sprout actually even a fourth one off to the side so this plant is, is really starting to to progress here um, again I, I figure once we start getting into some better temperatures I can take this stuff out of the basement put it up in the windows get it some authentic sunlight that, that these plants will really start taking off but basically we've made it through the winter I mean these coleus plants back here, these were the clippings that I did in the previous videos and they're doing really really good. You know, all these ones here, those ones back there, and this one were all clippings. Um, this is the only one that's really struggling. Those ones back there aren't doing great, but they're not, they're not doing bad. Um, but these two have really taken off really well. So we're doing good. Um, like I said, you know, this is the first time I've, I've ever dealt with anything like this. <clears throat> I'm not a Mr. Green Thumb or anything like that. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm pretty ecstatic that I was actually even able to make it through the winter um, growing things in the basement with just, 
you know, the two T8 fluorescent light fixtures that I got from Home Depot. I'd say that that, that would be a success that none of my plants died off. So, could it have been better? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I could be fruit bearing down here. These plants could be massive. Um, you know, but I could also spend a lot of money on, you know, indoor grow lamps and, and all kinds of nonsense when all basically all I wanted to do was be able to just get the plants through the winter so that they didn't die and, and have them ready to go for to replant outside and, and go from there. So um, once these go outside I'm probably going to start some new plants here inside. Um, I'll probably do some more green onions plant them differently so it's not just looks like so it doesn't look like grass see if I get better better results with different soil and um, planting them more spread out um, I'm gonna try some indoor herbs some cilantro and some basil and some some other things inside and, and see how that goes once I get this area cleaned out um, I think that might be it. We'll see. You know, as the as all the nurseries and stuff they start getting plants in, who knows? Um, we'll see what kind of deals they got going on. I might start growing some more stuff here in the basement just to see what's going on with all that. So anyway, that's the update. Thanks for watching. Um, like always, subscribe, comment, like.